up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video and you've seen the thumbnail you've read the title we are back with tier list episode number five yes if you guys have not seen the other tier list episodes i have a playlist for you guys on my channel there's uh five other videos because episode four actually had two parts it was too long they were both like 30 minutes plus so just saying and we're here with episode 5, and now we have cereal. We are ranking the cereals on a tier list to see how good they are, in my opinion. My opinion. Alright, all of these will always be and forever be in my opinion, so just know that. Um, cereal. Now, I'm not really a cereal type of person. So, if you want to say in the comments or just to yourself, this guy doesn't even know cereal. And you are correct. I've probably had, like, a cereal, like, probably only, like, ten times. I don't really like cereal that much, you know, it's not healthy for you, it's just the worst breakfast option ever. But when I was a kid, I did used to eat cereal a bunch, so this still kind of applies, and I remember. So, let's get started. And I think there's got to be, like, at least one on here that I have not tried, so I'm going to add a row below. And I am going to make it not yellow. Let's make it like white. And then let's say ne never had. All right, never had. There's got to be at least one of them. I didn't see, but I did shuffle it a little bit, so it's a little random. But anyways, let's get it started, guys. Whew, first. Cereal we have here is Captain Crunch. I have had Captain Crunch. Now, on the picture, it only shows the yellow ones. I'm not really a fan of the yellow ones. Those yellow ones honestly suck. They suck. So, if we're basing it off of that, I don't know if that's the original or whatever, but I always had uh, the yellow with, like, the colorful little balls. Um, so, I don't know, alright? I don't know which one's the original, but I'm gonna just, like, all of them look like it's the original, I think. This one, I think it's the original, so I'm gonna just put it as it shows in the picture. It's just the yellow ones? That's, that's not good. That's F. That, that really is F. Though, if we're talking about the one with the balls, I think it's probably, like, a flavor. I think it's berries. Mixed berries. Though, that's the only good one. That's at least a C. That's at least to see. But with this, just the yellow little squares, nah, F. I'm sorry, Captain Crunch fans, but that's an F. Moving on, we got Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles is good. I've had it many times. Um, I'm going to put it at B. I'll put it at B. You know, it's not the worst. It's also not the best, but it's it's decent, all right? Um, it's like Fruity Pebbles, but Cocoa. I don't... I like the chocolate sometimes, you know, I like it. And then sometimes I honestly don't like it. I don't know. Sometimes I don't like it. But it's mostly the pebble flavor. I like, I don't know why, but the pebbles, I'm just, I like it. And when it's soggy, that's when it's, like, not good. So you gotta, you gotta eat it pretty fast. So, B tier. Uh, next up we got Honey Bunches of Oats with Almonds. I actually have them up on my fridge right now because I guess that's the one we're eating. It's not bad, right? I like it too. I'm going to go with another B, but better. It's better, so it's going to go in front. I actually like it. You know, it's kind of like Frosted Flakes, but it's not frosted. It's just the oats with almonds. The almonds actually make it really good. I feel like if it didn't have the almonds, it would be a C. But a B. A B. It's better. A little better than the Cocoa, Pe Cocoa Pebbles. Next up, we got Raisin Bran. Never had, and I feel like that would be absolutely disgusting. Why the heck would I want raisin on my cereal? But I can't say anything about it because I never had it, so I'm going to just leave it at never had. Next up, we got Pops. Now, Pops is probably, let's see. No, there's actually, like, two more. All right, I've had Pops, like, probably, like, four times in my life. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but, you know, that little, it's not very little, but it's like a box, and it comes with, like, little boxes of cereal like different like there's like four different kinds it comes with like pops i think rice krispies 
maybe uh, Fruit Loops, maybe. I don't know, but it comes in with those little, little itty bitty, like it's just one bowl. It's just those boxes are used for one bowl of cereal. And that's why I've had it. I don't think I've ever had like a full box of them. Um, I, I got mixed, mixed opinions on this. I think the first two times I had it, they were like pretty, pretty good. I don't know why. But then the last two times, they weren't that good. So I think I'm going to give it a C. You know, it's meh. It's middle. It ain't good. It ain't bad. C tier. Next up, we got Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Dude, I think everybody used to eat these in like early 2000s, maybe 2010s. Everybody would eat these. It was like that commercial. If you saw that commercial while you were watching your, your Door of the Explorer, you, you were dancing to it every time. You had to have a Reese's Puffs. But anyways, Reese's Puffs, I've had it probably twice. Now, I don't know why. It's not, I'm not saying it's bad, but I just never kept on getting it because there's better cereals out there. It's good, all right? Um, I like the peanut butter, and I like the milk at the end. The milk at the end, you got to give it credit because they do be good. I'm going to give it another B, all right? No A's. I'm going to go the the, 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 uh, the back of B, the, the worst at B. Um, it's better than Pops, but it's not better than Cocoa Pebbles. So at the end of B... Nothing too crazy. Maybe I should give it more more love. I've never really gotten it. But I don't think that will happen just because I'm not a cereal guy. So, sorry. Next up, we got Honey Smacks. Now, I've seen this before. Never had it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. Obviously, it's cereal, but I, like, I can't really tell what it is. It's like a peachy kind of looking cereal. Yeah, I never had it. Don't know anything about it so never had next up we got apple jacks oh we got a good one for finally now i don't know how i'm gonna do this is it an s or is it an a dude i feel like these three there's three i have to put at s i have to there's two uh, the two other ones coming these are just so good man they're they're shaped like fruit loops and they have cinnamon and you got the two different flavors, the green and the orange. It's so good, man. Apple Jacks bring me back memories, dude. Apple Jacks is too good. I've had it many, many times. Like, the top three that I'm about to put on here, I've had it, like, so many times than the other ones. It's crazy. All right, Apple Jacks, so good. Next up, we got Corn Flakes. I've had Kellogg's Corn Flakes because I don't know why we had it, but it was just up there. Nothing too crazy. It's like the honey bunches of oats, but without the honey and the almonds. It's just the cornflakes, man. It's not that great. So a D. A D. I don't know why anybody would get cornflakes. Usually the old people do. But, uh, yeah, not my thing. Just regular flakes. It's got to be frosted. It's got to be honeyed. Or it's got to be almond like the other ones. Not regular. It's garbage. Next, up, we got class, classic Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops is good. It is good. I remember it's not the top three, as I'm saying. It's not the top three, but it was superior at one point. At one point in my life, it was number one. It was number one. I don't know. I was just addicted to Fruit Loops. But it's an A. All right, guys. It's an A. Fruit Loops is good. It's got my favorite part about it is literally all the flavors all right you got the the purple you got the the orange the blue the green and the red i loved it all right i loved it so much but as of now i feel like last time i had it was like a year ago or something but they're good they're good a tier next up we got honey nut cheerios or just cheerios i don't know cheerios you know the guy the bee um yeah no not really my thing. I don't think I, my family, ever got it. But I feel like my like other side of my family got it. Like probably my aunt or like my cousin. Somebody. Some of them got them. And I feel like I ate it there. So not the best, all right? There's some Cheerio lovers out there. But it's not me. It's a C tier. It's in front of Pops. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. I'm not really a Cheerios guy. I don't like it. Next up, we got Rice Krispies. 
I've had this as well. As I said with the pops, that's the only reason why it came in those little boxes. And surprisingly, not bad. Not bad. I probably need to have, to have some more Rice Krispies. I think there's Cocoa Rice Krispies, which I do need to give a try, but I, I don't really know if I will. But they weren't bad. Another B tier. I'll probably put it behind Cocoa Pebbles. A lot of B tiers. Uh, probably because I don't really like cereal that much, but yeah. Third of B. Third of B. They're not bad, alright? They're decent. Next up, we got Tricks. Tricks is for kids. Well, sadly, that is incorrect because they are indeed very, very good. Now, you can say whatever you want about me. A lot of people don't like that I like Tricks. Ah, uh, like they don't even like Tricks. Tricks is good. Tricks is one of the best. It is better than Apple Jacks, I will say. It's just so good, man. It, it is crazy, man. I had tricks so many times. I've actually had tricks probably less than Apple Jacks than the one I'm about to put up. Because, I don't know, I guess my family didn't really get tricks. Um, I wanted tricks, but and then they come out with like Frosted Flakes or something. Man, that hurt. But tricks, tricks is the best. I don't care. It's one of the best. I'm not done. But it is one of the best. It is so good. And I miss when they had the balls all right i feel like they changed it up like three times they had i feel like they had the ones they have right now on the picture they had those and then they switched to the balls which was my childhood when they switched it to the balls and then they switched it back to it they switched it back to like the, the flower pieces and stuff uh, i don't uh, i don't like that I, I was when i was eating it it was the balls that was the best thing ever. And then they switched it back to this. So, a little bit of a downside for Tricks. Haven't had Tricks in like f so much years, but still, it's one of the best, as I remember. Next up, we got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Probably everybody's most popular cereal. It is good. It's going in front of Fruit Loops. It is good, alright? I will say that, but it's not as good as you guys say, alright? Some of you guys, a lot of you guys say it's the best cereal out there. It's not, but it is up there. So, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, top of A tier. It is good. I've had it very much a lot of times. And it's mostly because of the cinnamon, alright? Apple Jacks is cinnamon, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think Cinnamon Toast Crunch has more cinnamon, but I just like Apple Jacks more because of the, the circle shape and the flavor. So, that's why. Next up, we got Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, that's how it's going. That's how it's going. Fruity Pebbles is the best cereal. That's it. It's the best cereal. S tier. Boom. Best cereal. I don't care what anybody says. Fruity Pebbles is the crap. It's the, it's the poop. It's the S word. You know what I mean. That's what it is. Fruity Pebbles is too good. All right. I know people say it's soggy, it is soggy, but it's just that right amount of soggy. Obviously, if you're a little kid, you're probably going to take like 20 minutes to eat it, alright? But if you're a civilized person, <clears throat> then you shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. So, yeah, it should not get that soggy. So, Fruity Pebbles, S tier. Too good, too good, literally the best. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Next up, we got Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs is good. I like Cocoa Puffs. It's going at the bottom of A tier. I like Cocoa Puffs. Alright? It's better than Cocoa Pebbles because it's shaped like the balls. We need more of the balls back. I know Reese's Puffs have it, has it too. But, I don't know. It's not as good as Cocoa Puffs. I like Cocoa Puffs because it's chocolatey and it's got the balls. I don't know why. It sounds really weird. But I like balls. <laughs> I did that on purpose, I know, but... Ah, just... Okay, you yeah, know, whatever. Um, next up, we got Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes is a classic. Everyone has had Frosted Flakes. It's really good, alright? Especially, if you guys haven't had this, you guys are missing out. Frosted Flakes? No, no, no. That's how you do it. You, you pour the cereal. Obviously, I don't have to explain that to you. If you're pouring the milk first and you're crazy, you pour the cereal, you pour the milk, you give it a mix... And you cut some bananas, and you toss them in there. Yes, you cut up a whole banana, 
cut it up into little pieces, little circle pieces, and put it in there. It is really good. That, 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 like with that, Frosted Flakes is like back of S tier. But like since like mixing it with stuff is like cheating, I'm going to put it like in front of Fruit Loops. It's good, all right? Second place, A tier. And if you guys haven't had that, and if you have had that, let me know in the comments below because it is crazy good. Next up, we got Cookie Crisp. I've had Cookie Crisp only once. And I don't know how it got on the shelf. I think my little brother got it because it looks cool. But yeah, Cookie Crisps, it's literally like little cookies in cereal. And that's a cool thing. I, I did try it, and it wasn't bad. All right, it wasn't bad. It wasn't also wasn't the best. I'm gonna put it on top of B tier. It's the best of B tier. You know, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, Cookie Crisp, crisp is good. And last but not least, the last cereal of all, we got Lucky Charms. Yeah, give it a little Irish extra in there. Anyways, um, Lucky, Lucky Charms is good sometimes. You know, I've had it a lot. I like it because of the marshmallows. The marshmallows are really, really cool and tasty. So I just feel like the combination of that that crunchy part of the cereal and the softness of the marshmallow and the milk and then that's three different flavors right there I feel like the combination of that is good so I'm gonna put it at another A tier but behind ooh it's better than cocoa Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms are very similar they're like neck and neck nah I gotta give it a Fruit Loops Fruit Loops is just a little bit better because I had it so much. And yeah, Lucky Charms. It's basically what I said. The three combination is just pretty good. Really good. But that's going to do it, guys. Look at this. It didn't take us that long because there's not that much cereals. There's actually a lot of cereals, but I don't have time for putting every single cereal. And I got like so many flavors. But yeah. And actually, if there is a cereal that I'm missing and it's y'all's favorite, let me know. But I just did the most popular ones, and I feel like this one was the best one. We got S tier, we got A tier, we got B, C, D, F, and and never had. I actually did not expect this. I filled up every single tier, so that's kind of cool. And they're all kind of similar. It's mostly A and B, but yeah, there we go. If you guys have any opinions or have any disagreements, let me know in the comments below. I do want to know because I'm not the only person who has this exact kind of thing. I want you guys to let me know what you got. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed Tier List Episode 5, make sure you like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ignite the flame, and peace out.